Hey, Benny Bash. It's the 5th of July, 2018. And apparently right after I did this video yesterday, this woman climbed up on top of the Statue of Liberty and caused them to evacuate the whole island and tied up the whole place for four hours, right? <laughs> right after I did that video, okay? So on the 4th of July, she ties them up for four hours and the woman it was 44 years old. Okay, I showed you yesterday how the from the crazy article that I saw there to the Statue of Liberty was 4.44 miles. Well, in this case, the 4.4, I look at just as the 44. And to me, that's more representative of Jesus. As opposed to the 4.44, which can also represent Lucifer, which is nothing less than just illustrating the spiritual war. But the 44, that was the last days of Jesus' ministry. The final part of his earthly ministry, 44 days long, from the day he was crucified until the day he ascended on the Mount of Olives was 44 days. And so that's what that is representing. And then on top of it all, this woman's name is Therese, right? Well, that's just a derivative of Teresa. And what does Teresa mean? You got to get a load of this. To reap. To gather in. The harvester. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So that was the woman's name. To reap, to gather in, the harvester, Jesus, ascending, coming back. And it just goes on and on, you guys. I wish I could, like, really, you know, go through all of these. But this one particular article here, right, Guardian, and you read down all the way to the bottom here, and they're quoting some, of course they make it political, right, but says here, last summer, senior Trump advisor Miller sparked furor over the president's stated intention to move legal immigration to a merit-based system when Miller questioned the relevance of the poem by Emma Lazarus, which is on the Statue of Liberty, inscribed at the base of the statue, which includes the celebrated lines, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The Guardian asked 21 poets to reimagine the poem as Trump would like to see it, which ended up including lines such as, America, the door is closed now. Jesus is the door. The door is closing. Okay, this woman's name is Teresa Okamoku or something of that nature. So I copied it and pasted it into the Gematria because that's what I was led to do. And I get a 191, 911, and an 1146. Judgment to those who cannot separate themselves from this world and accept Christ as their Savior. Judgment time. That's how I see it. I mean, this is serious business. I mean, really. So, <laughs> The Messiah is coming, uh, judgment is coming with him, and you need to be separate from this world. You need to understand that you don't belong here in this dark, dismal place that seems to have no end but death. Seek Jesus Christ. He's the truth. He's the life. He's the way. So, I had to share that with you. Just a follow-up to that one from yesterday. Pretty crazy, but awesome at the same time, right? Oh, and one more piece of confirmation that I got on all of this this morning. Today, this, this has to come out today, right? Mother Teresa, okay? Statue of Liberty. Teresa, mother of harlots, the Statue of Liberty is. Mother Teresa, India Charity, sold babies. I really don't even know what to say about this. Other than this world is just really, really messed up, man. You got to recognize that and realize you need a savior to get out of this mess, okay? And the only one is Jesus. He's the door. He's literally the door. Knock and he'll answer before the door closes. 
because the judgment is coming on inhabitants of the earth who are not saved by his blood. So don't be one of those. Okay? So peace and grace to you. Stay cool. It's hot. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 